To continue our conversation this morning, um, I'm going to talk about what's the meaning of policy. Policy is something that every scientist dreams to change. Uh, for some reason, we want to, to affect the world, to change the world. And one way of changing the world is through policy. Policy means several things, and it also changes with a um, hierarchical level where you are in the government or in the governance hierarchy, whether you are at the, at the um, uh, say, uh, international level or national level or state level or local regional levels. Um, but, the, but policy normally has several components. Uh, the first one that comes to mind is very, very simple, is, is law. If you are able to change laws, you may be able to change the way uh, the governance system uh, works or behaves. And that's one of the, 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 the aims that we have. So, uh, how do you change law? Well, that depends entirely on the country you are in. Um, some countries have, um, um, well, the, the, the systems of legislation in every country is different. So you need to, to understand well how it is that it works in the country in which you're working. In the case of my own country in Mexico, it, there are two, 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 um, two Congress units, a high chamber and a low, low, lower house, who's called um, the House of Deputies, the other is the a Senate, and both of them, and also the executive branch, are capable of introducing legislation. So if you want to, to introduce legislation according to your knowledge, your science, your scientific knowledge, that's the way you go. You go to, to Congress, and you speak with, first probably with the advisors to, the, to, the, to Congress men or congresswomen, uh, there, there is a, um, there is a, a set of uh, committees which are created for the different uh, problems. For instance, there is an agricultural committee, there is a, an environmental committee, and so on. There is a, a, an industrial knowledge uh, committee. So, if you are interested in, in in conservation or in management in forestry. If your problem is about uh, medicinal plants, bioprospecting, whatever, you need first to identify what is the right um, and the right committee, and then start doing a pro. A, um, you just have to keep working at it for a long time. That's the, that's it. That's the, the the bottom line. If you are not willing to put up with the years of work that you will take to 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 finally have a piece of paper, a piece of legislation that will go through the moves and then <clears throat> be approved or modified more likely or even rejected uh, in the chambers, well, then you're not in the right business. Uh, the business of changing policy for a scientist is long term. So the first one then is um, it's, um, legislation first the first kind of, of way of affecting policy I would also like to say based on my own personal experience that at least in my country probably in other countries as well there are several ways of, of several levels of legislation all the way from constitution which is something we, um, in my country it really takes a lot of effort to change um, it can be done and it is done but it is really difficult um, uh, federal laws, local laws, and then regulation. So, depending on the uh, the level at which you are talking about, it may be easier or more difficult. But you have to identify the level, and you have to identify this, the, the actors, and then act through them to produce the changes you want in your legislation. Um, as a final thought, this is an extremely important uh, um, way of affecting policy. Um, it takes time, takes effort, but it's very, very important. It's a worthy effort. Okay. Um, the next one, the next um, component of policy that I would like to talk about is what is called law enforcement. Law enforcement and also the, the judiciary system. Uh, law enforcement I mean, 
everybody understands that it means um, uh, the, the, the 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 forces the police uh, the agents uh, that are capable of coming and stopping by by use of bodily force if required uh, in a legal way some activity uh, whatever it may be poaching it may be it may be uh, trafficking with uh, with um, uh, parts of endangered animals or with endangered animals it may be um, preventing some clearance to take place or some encroachment on on protected areas whatever it's 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 very wide if you don't have a good system of law enforcement then you may have the best laws in the world uh, nothing will change actually in the field uh, so working with and through the law enforcement agencies in charge of environment wildlife uh, protected areas um, uh, these things it's it's again a very powerful uh, way of affecting policy in my own experience again this takes time uh, you have to educate people you have to work in collaboration with um, with whatever school they have uh, where they get their training the best way of, of affecting policy is affecting the training making uh, the teachers aware of the fact that there are environmental laws that the environmental laws should be interpreted in some way or another way normally uh, for the people outside the science of conservation, the science of wild management, the science of forestry, the science of fisheries, there are a huge number of common places, of slogans, of um, just kind of inherited wisdom that almost always is wrong. So. Um, the first thing you have to do when you start trying to, to, to do capacitation, um, transfer of knowledge, uh, teaching, educating uh, law enforcers or the judiciary branch is remove the, the, this uh, superstitious or not superstitious, uh, mistaken but very common uh, um, commonsensical uh, slogans that people use. Uh, one which is very common is that uh, uh, hunting is harmful for the environment. Well, it may be, but it may not be. It may be extremely uh, helpful for, for many species. It's been proven like that in places where game is organized properly, where the transfer of science, of quotes, rates, the timing of the year, what what age groups you can you can you can hunt, what uh, sexes you can hunt in what seasons or not at all. All these things which is scientific knowledge can be translated into very specific policies uh, that will determine how the grant the, 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 the permits are granted. And that kind of thing is if you have a, a properly trained uh, law enforcement agency no, that is knowledgeable about what matters and what doesn't matter, then you may have an excellent uh, access to, to a very, very uh, real and very powerful policy um, component, which is law enforcement. In my own country, the judiciary, uh, the judges that actually apply the, the environmental law, uh, they were utterly ignorant about environmental science for years and years and years. This has been just changing in the last five years, say, where, the, the for instance, the Supreme Court has been uh, asking uh, one of the, well, the National University to give them courses on environmental, not laws, but science, to understand what is climate change, to understand what is conservation, to understand uh, issues related to game, to hunting, to forestry, to access to, uh, to, to genetic resources, to um, the effects of transgenic, of GMOs on, um, the, on health, or, or in on the environment, things like that. The Supreme Court of Mexico is is, is asking for um, uh, for training on these issues, and if you can influence that kind of training, or even just uh, succeed in in having a, 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 the judiciary to ask 
to be trained on these issues, then you are influencing policy in a very major way for the long for the for the long uh, for the long term. Okay, I'm back. I'm drinking my coffee. It's early in the morning here in Lawrence, and instead of uh, being with you drinking perhaps some bush tea, I'm drinking just plain coffee. Okay, um, next um, element or component uh, that can be regarded as policy. It's it's very important and oftentimes it's forgotten. It's the structure of taxes and incentives and disincentives. Uh, that can be regarded as law, but it's uh, it's uh, it's slightly different. It's not something that uh, it's it's a, it, it has to be enforced, but. Uh, but it operates in a different way. It operates through the through the, the economic um, feelings and uh, economic behavior of the citizens or the actors, the stakeholders. So, if you are capable of changing the way a tax is uh, um, allocated, or perhaps remove um, an incentive for a certain kind of behavior, you affect policy in a very major way. An instance of this may be proof. Uh, when when um, a state is uh, ch charges, say some extra in the water in the price of water, and uses that uh, extra money which is charged to pay uh, the owners of the forests up in the um, in the catchment area of, of of certain basin. So you are using a tax to encourage conservation. For, for water management purposes. This has been done in many countries, both in the developing and in the developed world, and it's, it's a perfect example of how a tax can be used to, to, to change, uh, to change uh, uh, the behavior of people. Um, another one that I am aware of is um, taxes for, uh, in, at airports to support uh, protected areas. That is that was done. I don't know if it's still done in Costa Rica for a long time. So you have uh, again a tax, and the profits of that tax or the, the, the revenue coming from that tax is used for um, um, for a conservation purpose. Uh, if your conservation uh, is informed by policy, then you have that way of moving from from science to policy via. Uh, incentives and disincentives in the fiscal structure of a country. This is a very a, a interesting and very powerful uh, way of doing it. In order to structure it properly, you need to work together in teams with uh, with economists, so people very knowledgeable about the, fis the fiscal structure of a country, and uh, not only with the scientists. Uh, uh, it It is important to do this properly, otherwise you may be creating a monster without even knowing it. So you have to, to assess uh, to a degree the, the, the first and the second and even maybe the third order uh, consequences of creating a tax in some place. Um, governments don't like to create taxes uh, in general and so this is not an easy way to affect policy but it can be quite powerful if you know how to do it.